So this is the TFNL Regression Systems gym facility. So you enter through the door. Receptionist here, checking your membership card. Ma'am, lovely to see you. Pleasure. Ple pleasure, see, pleasure to see you, ma'am. Should put behind you. As you can see, spacious facility. Lots going on. Plenty of room for walking lunges and whatnot. I'll give you a full tour. So you come over to the seat, and here we have the seated shoulder press station with bands. Dumbbells are optional, they're over there. You can do lots here. If you need a spot, our staff are more than happy to oblige. I do ask all members to re-rack their weights accordingly. Uh, got to keep the gym tidy, especially in these tricky times. We've got a set of plates, a pair of each, 5, 10, 15, 20. Got a barbell in mint condition. So we're looking at a very expensive Alico bar here. Pristine, fresh out of the packet. Not an ounce of rust on it. Beautiful condition. Come over here. We've got the cable machine. At the moment, uh, a member is currently doing tricep push downs, so this will be the tricep station. All sorts can be done here chest press, flies, rows, pullovers, you name it. We got it. Additional resistance if you're feeling strong. Uh, the curl corner, well, actually, the curl wall where all biceps will be conducted. So we have the dumbbells here. Adjustable, different color clips because uh, we couldn't find matching clips, but it's okay. Additional bands, we have bands from a very low resistance, i.e., the yellow one over there to a very high resistance of 90 kilos, which is this big thick boy right here. Loads of bands, all sorts, got cable attachments too. If you want to do some pressing, some flies and all sorts. I'd say it's rather marvelous if you, if you ask me. Uh, we have ordered a custom homemade bench. Uh, let's see if I can construct that this week, we'll find out. Uh, full, full pan of the, full of the gym. Lots of grass, lots of astro, we'll say, lots of astro turf if you want to do some dynamic movements. And uh, that, that's about it, really. Okay, so. This is the first video on the lockdown log. It's, it's the only name I can come up with pretty quickly, but it'll have to suffice, I guess. If you weren't aware, obviously coronavirus has, uh, it's, all go, it's all hit the fan, really. It's, it's all gone a bit down the pan. So everyone in the UK is on somewhat, I say somewhat, they're on a lockdown. They are in lockdown. So that means we can't really do much. Can't really leave the house, can't go to the gym, can't go get a sick pump with the boys on a Friday night before going to the bar, even though I don't drink. Luckily, I'm in a position where I'm fortunate enough to have access to some weights from many years ago, which have been horrifically neglected, as you would have seen from the gym tour previously, which, although they may not look the spiciest, they will definitely do, and I'm very thankful to have them. My training has obviously changed quite a lot because I'm limited to what I have access to. I'm still doing five plus days a week. I might do naughty additional days if I'm feeling like I fancy a sick pump for sitting on the couch for another 18 hours. It's not ideal for a lot of people, but it's a necessary thing. And I can understand why a lot of people are probably experiencing quite a lot of anxiety surrounding the uncertainty of what this means, what's to come. And at the end of the day, although it's easier said than done, but try not to worry about what could happen or what, um, what might happen because ultimately you don't know. No, no one really knows at this stage because this is a very unique situation for many of us, well, for all of us, and we don't really know what's to come. If we are on lockdown for an extended period of time, again, not ideal, but it could be worse. And that's the thing to keep in mind is that whatever is going on, Although not trying to take away from the severity of the situation, it could always be worse. And that's one positive you need to take away from it. See this as a chance to kind of let your creative juices flow regarding training, what you can do, find out anything you may have access to, even if that's just bottles of water you can put in a bag, a backpack, and you can put together a pretty effective workout using those things, um, which I will likely potentially dabble with in future videos, depending on how long we are isolated for. The TFNL community page is a good place for that because we've got a home workout thread where people are putting their ideas where I'll put some of my bits and bobs in. And obviously you'll be exposed to a few other ideas that people may have that you might not have thought of. And the other thing to take away from this is see this is an opportunity to do things you've never really had the time to do before. I mean, thankfully at the moment the weather's great so you can spend time in the garden, you can go out for walks, which a lot of people have had time to do. But even if it's just starting to learn a new language, starting to learn a new skill or a subject, 
just something that you're like, oh, I really wanted to do that. Oh, I didn't have time then. I'll probably do it in the future. I might not have time. But now you actually do have the time. So try and fill it with things that are productive. Humans are quite sociable creatures. Due to the social isolation coming with this lockdown, be sure to keep in contact with your friends, with people, talk to them, reach out if you're struggling, FaceTime them, put together a group conference call, like a group FaceTime, you can do that on apps online. Keep the friendship and the relationship strong because they may be struggling, they may desire some human interaction as may you. It's all about kind of fulfilling those when possible. Be thankful that technology is so readily available and be thankful that a lot of us have access to Wi-Fi. So we can keep in contact with friends, we can still work from home for in a lot of cases, we can still do things that many years ago we wouldn't have been able to do without actually interacting with a human face to face. So we're in a position where so many things can be done from the comfort of our home. And although again, not ideal, it's quite a, a privileged position. That, that's kind of it. Like it's just a quick video to talk about like what's going on. When I get uni work out of the way, I may try and increase upload frequency just because people have time to kill at home. I'm going to fill people's lives with my rambling and nonsense rather than boredom and we'll see what happens if you have any ideas of what you like to see drop them in the comments below i'll start filming more of my workouts and stuff and we'll have a gander together